Pilipinas! My name is Diana May P. Mazanaras from Stem Tools Stem St. Thomas Aquinas. For today's video, I am going to make bacterial cell as part of our midterm performance task in General Biology 1. Before I start, let me define what a bacterial cell is. Bacteria are single-celled microorganisms with prokaryotic cells, which are single cells that do not have organelles or a two nucleus, and are less complex than eukaryotic cells. Now that we know what it means, let's get started on creating it. First thing to do is to have the carton and trace it in the shape of bacteria. Using cutter, I just cut what I have traced. And I use the scissors to cut the excess. Basically, in this part, I just made the base of the cytoplasm. Now that I have the cutted carton, next thing to do is to trace and cut in the shape of cell wall. In this section, I use masking tape to create a diorama of bacterium formed out of carton. The following step is to apply some color poster to our base, cytoplasm, and cell wall. The color poster featured in the video was from my junior high school when we had our performance task in MAPE. I used green for the base, yellow for the cytoplasm, and red for the cell wall. Since the cardboard was thin, I utilized masking tape as the cytoplasm's basis so that the color could be seen. I also paint the nucleoid or the DNA cutout base. In this part, I made a plasmid out of blue yarn and attach it into the cytoplasm using glue. The circle you see is the ribosomes which are made up of styrobeads from my sister's souvenir. Mm -hmm. 
The next step, utilizing a previously used illustration board, I cut it out of our cutting paper in the shape of a pili or a pili. the diorama version of Book Theater Sound. And today, I'm going to share the benefits that we can get from Book Theater Sound. And also, I will explain, I will define the functions of the different cells of bacteria. We all know that bacteria are just as unrelated to humans as living creatures can be. But, they are crucial to human existence and life on Earth. Although they are well known for their involvement in the spread of human illnesses ranging from tooth decay to the black plaque, but there are beneficial species that are necessary for optimal health. And today I'm going to explain, to define the different function of the cell. Let us start with number one, nucleoid, or what we call the DNA. The nucleoid is a region of cytoplasm where the chromosome DNA is located. It is not a membrane-bound nucleus but simply an area of the cytoplasm where the strands of DNA are found. Next, number two is the plasmid. So this is where we can locate the plasmid, the two circle over here. Plasmid is a small circular double-stranded DNA molecule that is distinct from a cell's chromosome DNA. Plasmids naturally exist in bacterial cells and they are also occur in some eukaryotes. Number three is the ribosomes, the circle that you can see. We have that circle. So that is the ribosomes. Ribosomes are microscopic factories found in all cells, including bacteria. They translate the genetic code from the molecular language of nucleic acid to that of amino acids, which is the building blocks of proteins. Number four, we have the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is here, the yellow part of it. Cytoplasm or protoplasm of bacterial cells is where the function for cell growth, metabolism, and replication are carried out. Number five, we have the cell wall. It is located here, the red part. Each bacterium is enclosed by a rigid cell wall composed of peptidoglycan, a protein sugar molecule. The wall gives the cell its shape and surrounds the cytoplasmic membrane, protecting it from the environment. Number six, we have the capsule. This is the capsule. It is located beside the cell wall. Some species of bacteria have a third protective covering, a capsule made up of complex carbohydrates. It plays a number of roles, but the most important are to keep the bacterium from drying out and to protect it from engulfing by larger microorganisms. Number seven, we have the pili. And it is located here, the green part. This is like that straight line. Many species of bacteria have pili, small hair-like projection emerging from the outside cell surface. These outgrowth assist the bacteria in attaching to other cells and surfaces. We have number 8, the flagellum for singular and plural for flagellia. This is the tail, the green part, the tail. Flagellia are hair-like structures that provide a means of locomotion for those bacteria that have them. can be found at either or both ends of a bacterium or all over its surface. They beat in a propeller-like motion to help the bacterium move toward nutrients away from toxic chemicals. And lastly, we have number 9, the plasma membrane, and it is located here beside the ribosomes, the blue part, yes, the blue part. A layer of phospholipids and proteins called the cytoplasmic membrane 
It encloses the interior of the bacterium, regulating the flow of materials in and out of the cell. That's it guys! That's the result of making bacterial cell diorama version. I really enjoyed uh, doing the process. And although there are some parts that I really struggled, but I think I was able to make it. I was able to survive. I hope you learned something and see you in my next project. Bye!